Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel Electric. Today we are diving into a super important topic electrical contactors. If you have ever wondered what makes your lights, fans and machinery turn on and off with the flip of a switch, well it's time to understand the role of contactors in that magic. And we'll also break down the concept of NO and NC, two key terms every beginner electrical engineering student should know. So let's get started. Let's kick things off with the basics. What is an electrical contactor? Well, think of it as a special kind of switch that controls the flow of electricity to a device or machine. But here's the catch. It's not your typical light switch. A contactor can handle a lot more current and can control devices that require high power like motors or HVAC systems. A contactor is essentially a device that opens and closes electrical circuits. It has two main parts, the coil and the contacts. The coil is like the brain of the contactor. When you send electricity to the coil, it generates a magnetic field and pulls the contacts together. This is what closes the circuit and allows power to flow to whatever you are controlling. Let's see how this works in real life. Here's a contactor. When the coil gets powered, it pulls these contacts together. Click. And just like that, the circuit is complete. Now power can flow through and whatever device you are controlling, whether it's a motor or a light, turns on. Now to make this even more interesting, contactors come up with two types of contacts, normally open that is NO and normally closed that is NC. These might sound a little confusing but don't worry, we are gonna break it down. Let's start with NO or normally open. Imagine the contacts are like a door. When the contactor is not powered, the contacts are open, the door is shut and no electricity can pass through. But when the contactor is powered up, it pulls the contacts together and the door swings open. Now electricity can flow and the connected device turns on. In a typical Enosis setup, power won't reach the device until you activate the contactor. This is why it's used for things like motors, where you only want power flowing when you intentionally activate the system. Next up, we have NC or normally closed contacts. Here the contacts are closed when the contactor is not powered, meaning the circuit is complete and electricity can flow. But when you power the contactor, it opens the contacts, click and the electricity stops flowing. NC contacts are perfect for safety features. For example, in an emergency stop system, you might want the circuit to be live until you press the stop button. When you press the button, the contactor powers up and opens the NC contacts, cutting the power and stopping the system instantly. So to sum it up, NO or normally open means the circuit is off when the contactor is off and on when the contactor is activated. NC or normally closed means the circuit is on when the contactor is off and off when the contactor is activated. Meaning in other words, with NO you start with an open circuit and the current flows when the contactor is energized. With NC, the current is already flowing with the contactor is off and it cuts when the contactor is energized. And that's it. You have just learned the basics of electrical contactors and the difference between NO and NC contacts. These simple devices make it possible to control high power systems safely and efficiently. And now you have got a solid understanding of how they work. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future electrical engineering content. And if you have any questions or topics you would like us to cover next, drop a comment below. We are always here to help you learn. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.